Hey everyone, it's Dylan here. Uh, we're back again for another week here in the shop. We've got quite quite the variety of things we're working on this week. Uh, one thing that's really exciting we're working on is we're actually using augmented reality to show some of our furniture designs for the first time ever. So we're going to kind of walk you guys through that process and show you how we do that. Uh, we're working on the round burl table a little bit more so you'll see us finish that up. A uh, little bit of progress is going to happen on the River Rock countertop as well, but I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Now we're upstairs and we've got our four foot round maple burl table here. Ben's going to be putting the first coat on this. This is an executive desk that's for Olympia Trust, so the same company that we did the great big conference table for. Uh, the reason I have two phones in my hands right now is actually because I'm about to film two live streams. Uh, one for Instagram and one for Facebook, so if you guys don't follow us on those platforms, you probably should. Uh, because we show a lot of things on there that we don't always get to show in our YouTube videos. So make sure to check that out. I think it's just Black Forest Wood Co. for both platforms. Spencer's just getting ready to cut up these slabs behind me right here. Um, these are actually the pieces for the Marriott. We're doing another table for them. Uh, this is gonna be kind of like a half log table. So we've got two slabs here that we've clamped together. We're gonna cut through both of them at once because they actually have to get laminated together after. And then I'll just use these to pound everything and make sure that uh, it doesn't pinch. Got the slab all cut up here. Uh, now we're going to take this top guy off, and you can see that we actually just kissed in to the top or the bottom slab there. the Marriott slab right now or one of them um, this is going to be actually the top slab it's going to be I think four inches thick and so I'm just flattening this guy right now and then we're going to be cutting that one down and flattening that as well to be glued together to make the four inch slab okay so we're back here in the shop now and we've actually got a few new projects we're starting on back here so I'll kind of show you the rough slabs uh, first up we've got this white oak slab here going to be for a dining table. Uh, it's only going to be five feet long so we have to cut this in half but we're just starting to get everything debarked here. Um, Joe's working on the waterfall countertop. He's going to explain a little bit about that. Uh, right here is the full set table so it looks kind of weird right now. Uh, what we've done is we've actually sealed the whole thing in super glue so it's a thin penetrating super glue and we're doing that to actually harden up the wood because the willow is kind of soft so we're going to flip it over and do another coat on the top and Ben will kind of explain that process as he goes. And then one more over here, this is kind of a cool one. Big round burl on top. This is going to be for a, a winery in Kelowna. Sorry it's kind of loud. Um, but yeah, this is going to be another big six foot round table for a winery in Kelowna. It's got really nice burled edges. Uh, this is actually a slab we bought from GL Veneer. I'm just here, got my porter cable router. We're just routering some chamfers into the table here. So we're gonna do along the whole edge, all the way around the table, get every surface, and then we're gonna flip this bad boy and we're gonna sand the top and the side.
show you guys something really cool that I kind of just figured out how to do with SketchUp. So SketchUp is the 3D design software that we actually use to design different things. So here's a desk that we've done, we're making for a client. You can see all the drawers in there, that kind of stuff. And then I've got on my phone here, I've got a maple burl little end table. This is actually going to be for my mom. So what you can do is you can download the SketchUp Viewer app and people can actually place the tables that we've designed in their room. So I will I hit the AR then it's going to have me scan the room. So bear with me while I just sort of scan all the floor. Okay. Now I can place it. So there's our table and we can actually walk up to this and look at it from any angle we want to. Uh, we can even go go down a bit, I'll show you guys. Look at it from like a side angle. We'll go in the back shop and we'll try a little bit bigger one here. Oh, so there we go. There's the big desk in there and if we want to walk up to it, here's our front edge. Oh, I can touch it. Where's my hand? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> then we want to look at our drawers. There's all our drawer details. There's the leg detail that we have. Sick. Very, very cool. So if you guys are interested in a table, like if you end up filling out the quote form and let's say we're designing a piece for you, we can actually offer this service to you guys. So if you download this SketchUp Viewer app, uh, and you're unsure of what you want it to look like, I'd be able to send you the file and you could put the table right in your house. Okay, so one other thing uh, I thought that we would show is the chairs that we've actually been designing. So here in SketchUp, I've got kind of this table set up and I'm just placing the chairs at it now. But here's the chairs that we've designed recently. So that's gonna be like a leather seat with a walnut frame on there. Um, so what I have to do now is I just have to move that last set of chairs over to the table here and then I'm going to send it to my phone. We'll do it in augmented reality and we'll check it out and see what it looks like. I just got to scan the area. Well, it's showing up kind of big. Hold on. Okay. So there it is. We come on out. So it looks like, oh no, wow, look at the detail even on the chairs. You can see everything, here's our back, all of this. Um, I like these, if you guys look here, I like the, the dowels that we have. So those are gonna be ebony dowels in the side there and on the bottom. You can see that's what actually holds everything together. And we have braces underneath to support everything. That's our leather seat, and then more dowels just to hold that all in. Okay, so earlier we showed you guys uh, those other Wenge pieces that Brad was running on the CNC and the shaper. Uh, for the door and now he's got some more pieces of wenge here that are actually going to be used for the style of the door so there's a thin piece on the outside and you can see we got a little bit thicker one in the middle and one more thin one on the bottom so he's just getting ready to do his glue up on this amazing Wenge wood door. It's gonna be copper clad on one side and then Wenge on the other side with an alternating big style going on the side. It's huge, it's about four and a half feet by nine feet tall and it'll be a pivot door system with a solid Wenge jam. Here's sort of my method and technique I had to use to glue these individual panels on. And then in between the seams over here, we're gonna be laying a half inch wide strip of copper on each one of these strips here as well too. How expensive is this door? This door all in will come in, I don't know, probably just over $25,000. Yeah. It's huge, yeah. there's a lot going on with this. Here's some details we've got going on. What I'm gonna be doing here now is we've laminated solid material 
over all the surface here. Uh, there will be a copper strip going in between the Wenge panels and I'm going to route out these window pockets that have been prefabricated into the core of the door. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Uh, I know last week we said we were going to try and get the Nelk table and the River Rock table finished, but that didn't quite happen, so next week probably for sure we'll get that done. Uh, but happy Easter to those of you who are celebrating it, and we will see you next week.